What's the worst thing you've ever tasted? Not me, but I made spaghetti once a few months back in the early fall, and I guess after the initial plates, I left it to cool uncovered, so I could put the leftovers away. So the next day my husband is enjoying some spaghetti for lunch when Crunchy bit into a stink bug that had landed in it. If you know how badly a stink bug smells, you can only imagine how bad it tastes. My husband was projectile vomiting within 5 minutes and it's been months and he won't let me make spaghetti anymore because it reminds him of it. I cannot fathom how bad that must have tasted. Brussels sprout flavored Jones soda. From the holiday pack about 15 years ago. When I was super young probably way too young to be going down to the lake near our house on my own I came across this black thing on the ground. I couldn't figure out what it was. But it looked like a delicious chestnut like the ones my mom would bring home in huge bags to both snack on and feed squirrels with. So I did what any sensible pre-kindergartner would do. And took a bite. It was not a chestnut. To this day I can't imagine what it was. But it was the absolute worst tasting thing I've ever put in my mouth. I still remember crying as I was walking all the way back home. Sure had been poisoned. And was going to die. Edit. Chestnuts not as elnuts. Depending on the area. Probably some kind of animal scat. A cheese ball at this church lady's house. One of my grandma's friends. It tasted like dirty socks. That a cat had been playing with for months. But I have never laughed as hard as I did that day. I. Stupidly. Asked my then 11 year old sister. Who is on the spectrum. And thus has problems modulating her voice. If she had had a cheese ball. She proceeds to effectively yell. Yeah it tasted like a bud's foot. The look of death we got from that old lady. Your sister is a goddamn poet. What tastes better? A foot's butt or a bud's foot? That's what I want to know. Then again. Some people might be into eating feet ass. Once I popped some electrolyte slash mineral pills in my mouth. And started chomping away on my way to the gym. I thought I had grabbed my almonds. They began foaming. And tasted extremely bitter and sour at the same time. I thought I was getting poisoned. Also once tried an olive straight off a tree. Also tasted like poison. Don't recommend. Okay first paragraph cracked me tf up. I can imagine the brief moment of panic you had when you thought you were being poisoned lmao. Second paragraph is a till. I recently bought an olive tree and I've wondered this. So damn now I know that I'll I have to do extra shit to them when the tree eventually produces them. Lol. Brine curing is probably your easiest method to try for your first time. Takes a long time though. Food safe 5 gallon bucket. Water. Salt. Vinegar. Change the liquid occasionally. Internet will have better directions. But I used to help my aunt do it when I was really little. Not hard at all. Made delicious olives. A bird shit in my fucking mouth. Edit. I was lying on my back in a field and the thing flew by. It was a hit job. It tasted like warm berries. I hate these sky rats. Edit. Some of you are picturing an ice berry dinner and don't think it sounds too bad. These weren't raspberries they were ass berries. A lightning bug. Firefly. I was running through the garden at dusk and one flew into my mouth. It was disgusting. Very chemical. A properly ripened persimmon. In my opinion is really good, but one year around Christmas I got one that must have been underripe or something, because it tasted good for zero. Zero two seconds before the texture turned into literal sand, and sucked every particle of moisture out of your mouth. Literally the worst thing ever. See, the trick is to get yourself a fuayu persimmon. Those guys are not astringent like the Tenenashi persimmons. You can eat the fuayu when it's crisp like an apple, and it's so sweet. I'll eat pounds of them when they're in season, and I actually prefer them firmer. One time I chewed on a gel anvil. It had some kind of liquid inside that numbed my mouth and my throat, and I thought I was gonna die. It was so bitter too. I used to take some and did a present pill, and it just barely scraped one of my sharp canine teeth. And it tasted horrible, like my mouth was just dying or something for almost 30 minutes. Water and milk made it even worse. Use mustard. Barn water. Ah. The classic high school dare. It gets ya yeah, real high. This clear liquid medicine I had to take as a kid when I was diagnosed with a polio-like disease called Kaksaki. The name is funny. I don't even remember the effects. 
but that medicine legit tasted like battery acid or something. Hootie F decided to name a disease Kaksaki. Kaksaki disease. Named after the man who discovered it. Drive. Henry disease. The glue they use on temporary dental crowns is extremely rude. Yeah. It's pretty rude to taste bad. When I was young my grandparents on my dad's side spent every Christmas Eve at our house. It was great. Except my grandma's contribution to the dinner, which was an awful dish called tomato aspic. It is basically tomato juice jello, and is every bit as awful as it sounds. The whole family hated it, but my grandma cold and cook, and did the best she could. I remember being 10, and tried sneaking some to my dog, that would eat everything from socks to dog poop. He growled at me, and bared his teeth. If a dog that eats poop and licks his own butthole tells you to get that crap away from him, you don't eat it either. Tomato juice jello. Okay. Now I've seen it all. There's a YouTube channel called Demi Made in Japan, and she does all kinds of shit like old recipes from when people put everything in jello and then tastes the abomination. Umbilical cord blood from a complete stranger. Not even lying. I used to be a paramedic and had to deliver a baby in the field once. I did everything exactly how I was taught in school, and clamped the cord down, and proceeded to cut it with my scalpel. They neglected to teach us in school that the clamped part of the cord is still under pressure. Blood squirted in my mouth, on my shirt, and on my pants. So I basically had to suction a newborn baby and stimulate her while savoring the taste of the same nutrients that kept her alive the past 9 months. To make matters worse. The mom wouldn't name the baby after me. TL. Doctor basically drank baby's blood. I had a co-worker who had a similar experience. The amniotic sac ruptured and splashed him. He described it as warm ocean water. Coconut Sprite. A Slim Shady. It was a drink I ordered from a bar in Singapore. A shot of warm bourbon poured into a warm half pint of Murphy's. The temperature in Singapore as you can imagine is something akin to being in a hot oven all day all night all year round. Even breathing is difficult. As a tourist you get hot and thirsty. I think that's the only drink in my life I just said duck it after one sip. I ordered it. I'll pay for it, but bring me a cold water to get that shit out of my mouth please. God damn. I live in Singapore and have to disagree with your point about the weather. Sometimes it rains, so it feels like it's being in a food steamer instead of an oven. One time I was in the very early stages of pregnancy. I had been taking fish oil supplements. I had morning sickness really bad during this pregnancy. I burped not long after taking this pill and the taste was horrible. Dead fish. It was so nasty I immediately threw up catching it in my hands as I ran to the sink. You can fix the smell by eating dead bird paste, like chicken nuggets. For 35 years, post-war to about 1985, my grandfather worked in a lab developing new cake mixes for donuts and other cake stuffs. After retiring, my grandfather would make weekly trips to the old plant slash lab for a visit. While there he would often be given as many paper bags of plain vanilla donuts which were the test batches for the day. If I recall the lab always produced an entire rack of material to test the new mixtures. Most went to trash because people who worked there could only take home so much. When I visited my grandparents house during that period, also on a weekly basis, many of those bags would be handed down to me. I probably only ate about 2-3 to three donuts per week. One day. I got into my car to go to a matinee movie with school friends, and I brought a donut with me. Once moving I grabbed the donut from passenger seat and bit into it as normal. What happened next? Almost caused a motor vehicle accident. The taste of this one bite was the most revolting thing I had ever, or since, experienced. It sent signals to my brain that I must evacuate this material from my mouth immediately. I stopped the car in the middle of the road in order to open the door and spit that vile shit out onto the road. I also threw that donut as far into the distance as possible. I was completely disgusted but finished my mission of going to the movies. Next time I was at grandparents house I mentioned this crazy experience I had with one of the donuts and the fact I threw out the entire batch thinking it was actual poison. He thought about it for not more than a moment and a smile ran across his face. One of his former lab worker colleagues had intended that donut, or that bag perhaps, for him. 
He indicated it was an old workplace prank to add this vial, but very much non-poison. Chemical to the mix to punk the other staff. After telling me all this, he looked me in the eye and said, that shit is pretty the gingival isn't it? We had a good laugh. I guess I can never know with certainty whether he arranged that for me. But from what I know of him, his practical jokes didn't typically have such a nasty effect. I believe him more than his colleagues. I can still taste it in my mind a little bit. That is how horrible that taste was. Grandpa has been gone since 1997. This all happened in 1987. I would taste that shit willingly one more time, if I could only laugh with him about it just a once more. I'm doing that anyway. But be better with him present. Bonus fact, starting in 1970-ish, the cake mixes this company designed were widely used by Tim Hortons when that company still made all donuts in-house. Not sure, exactly. But around the late 90s or early 0s Hortons started to buy pre-made donuts and merely warmed them for customers on demand. Extra bonus fact, the car in question was my first. 1962 hardtop Thunderbird. Could it have been Betrix? It's the stuff that they put on Nintendo Switch cartridges to stop kids from eating them. It's supposedly the single most bitter substance on the planet. Apparently a teaspoon in an Olympic sized swimming pool makes the water too bitter to drink. Completely non-toxic. Too. And the timeline adds up. Bitrix is also added to denature alcohol. One time I went into an apartment of a dexist lady. Died in her bath. I was an EMT. I could taste her. Been there in the summer heat for two ish weeks. Flies everywhere. Really just lost my appetite. R slash eye bleach might help. Turmeric lemonade. Today from Chipotle. Don't get me wrong. I love lemonade. And turmeric goes great in a lot of things. Just not together. Also, prednisone. Do not chew. Agree with the prednisone. Accidentally scraped one on my tooth when taking it and was sure that it was replaced with a cyanide pill. Cyanide tastes like almonds. At least according to my late wife. I was eating a hard boiled egg. I bit into the egg and my mouth was filled with what I can only describe as a mouthful of wet dirty pigeon. I looked down and found a chicken fetus. It had feathers and everything. And it was the only time I almost puked from food. They eat those on purpose in the Philippines. No joke. A person I know likes this so much for some reason. When he offered me one I was like you know. Girlfriend's tonsil stone. This is it. This is the one that did it for me. Last one I read before swiping to the next thread. You win. Him done. Jesus. I had no idea you could swipe to see the next thread. You slash Caladrax 182. Yao changed my life. I stayed with some friends one summer during high school and the mom did not cook. It was a known thing. She grew up wealthy and married down into the middle class. One night she made something that was cream of mushroom soup. Cooked in a casserole dish with fennel seeds. Crushed up its crackers and rice. But it all soaked together into a single consistency. The taste still haunts me. What surprises me most is that someone who doesn't cook knows what fennel seeds are. Has them on hand and uses them to try to flavor a dish. I guess they aren't that obscure. But I guess I just don't picture someone who doesn't know food or do cooking to utilize that ingredient. One time I was eating a bag of chips, I think they were Doritos, while driving late at night. It was dark, so I couldn't really see what I was eating. Turns out in the bag there was a big concentrated clump of flavoring dust that formed somehow. Pop that whole sucker right in my mouth. Big mistake. You might think it would just taste like chip dust. But no. It tasted like dirt and pain. It's like there was so much condensed flavor that my brain had an integer overflow error. I nearly drove off the road. So if you ever find something like that at the bottom of a bag of chips, I strongly advise not trying anything more than a little nibble of it. Hey the stars have aligned on Reddit I just saw a picture on here of a chunk of cool ranch seasoning from a Dorito bag. What a day. A guy puked in my mouth while I was intubating him. That tasted bad. A daddy long legs and his web. When I woke up at 5am hungover off. He made a web and chilled over my water cup that had been out for a few days. It's been 15 years. I still look at the openings of my drinks before I drink them. Even when I just opened it. I'm unreasonably terrified of those things. If this happened to me, 
I would be a walking vegetable for the rest of my life. I once ate a soft cheese that tasted like band-aids, plasters. Why do I know what that tastes like? I guess from pulling them off my finger with my teeth? I don't know. But that cheese was straight band-aids. Those quixel things. You make little art like a diamond pickaxe from Minecraft out of small colored cubes on a grid then spray water on them so they stick together. Anyway, it said do not put in mouth. The first thing I did, and oh my god it tasted like a lemon that had been addicted to heroin for the past 8 years. It was the worst taste ever. Oh my god I've done that too. T2. Oh god the years of my childhood. Tud. 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 Once when I was like 14 or so I got some sort of stomach bug and I was throwing up for 24 hours. I emptied my stomach totally and was still retching. About the third or fourth trip on an empty stomach I vomited green bile. I'm still haunted by how disgusting that tasted. I once vomited so hard that after dry heaving my body pulled semi-digested material and bile out of my intestines. This was at a party where some guys showed up a little after midnight with trays full of weed cookies. Edibles plus heavy intoxication equals disaster. I was not the only person this happened to that night. That poor girl's house looked like an ertridge during an outbreak of a severe stomach virus. Hydrofluoric acid alkylation units in refineries have a smell that you can taste. To me it was a mix between old broccoli and rusty pennies. And it would stain your sinuses all day. I find it similar, but not the same, as the smell slash taste of paper factories, like sewage, only more foul somehow. Clotted moldy milk. A pistachio that had dry rotted in the shell. It was venomously foul and powdery, so it coated my mouth. The disgusting beans from the bean boozled challenge. Seriously. How tf do they get those nasty bud flavors? Question mark? Skittles had a zombie mix this year and they somehow managed to get the nasty flavor of death inside a pretty candy shell. Reminded me of Bean Boozled. Big difference is that I didn't know my Skittles were tainted and the complete surprise horrible taste made it even worse. I had those. I didn't mind them that much. It was a foul taste, but not bad enough that I had to spit it out. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos.